Infrastructure as a Service offers computing resources on demand to individuals and to organizations that need them. Resources offered include storage of data as well as allocation of additional computing power for running applications that may require intense processing or perhaps that receive thousands of visitors. Businesses are in interested in infrastructure as a service because it allows them the ability to scale their applications without having to buy additional hardware resources. Instead, businesses rent space and computing power from an infrastructure as a service provider. The IAAS provider operates data centers that contain high-end servers each with multiple processors and perhaps terabytes of storage. Through a process known as virtualization, one host server is configured to operate as if it were several smaller special purpose servers. Each of these smaller servers are virtual servers. Since one physical server can host several virtual servers, virtualization consolidates the need for many physical devices. Using virtual servers provides a more efficient and effective use of processing and storage resources that might otherwise be underutilized. Virtualization allows businesses to have their own servers in the cloud without having to manage any hardware or share a server with other companies. Each virtual server can support a particular business function, such as deploying web pages, storing files, hosting emails, or storing internal corporate data. Although each virtual server appears to be an actual server, in reality, it's a server that has been emulated using software tools. Virtual server management software allows system administrators to create and configure new virtual servers as if they were actual physical servers located on their own business site. Network admins can configure their virtual servers remotely using virtual server management software. Even though one physical server may host several virtual servers for different websites, different applications, different companies, each owner of a virtual server has full control over that virtual server. Unlike a physical server, where storage, memory, and processing capabilities are limited by installed hardware, these capabilities can be reconfigured dynamically on a virtual server on an as-needed basis. Consumer use of IAAS is most popularly for file storage. Some cloud storage applications automatically back up and synchronize these files, while others just function as online storage, where users can upload their files. Data stored in the cloud is, of course, available from any computer with an internet connection. By storing files in the cloud, users no longer have to make copies of their files to take with them as they use different computers. Instead, the files can all be accessed using a web browser. Many cloud storage providers use a freemium business model, which is very common amongst Web 2.0 companies. Consumers can access a reasonable but limited amount of storage for free, and then must pay a fee, generally monthly, for additional storage space. Dropbox is a service that provides cloud storage using a downloadable client application, which automatically synchronizes files stored in a Dropbox folder on the local computer with the cloud-based Dropbox folder. This means that the most recent versions of all the files are available on all the devices run by that consumer. Dropbox is available for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux computers, and currently provides 2 gigs of free storage. Windows SkyDrive provides cloud storage of 25 gigs for free, and the storage is integrated into your Windows Live account for easy access. SkyDrive allows for sharing of files and is available for either a PC or a Mac, not for the Linux OS. Zumo Drive provides storage and synchronization services like Dropbox. 
Sumo Drive is available for all three major operating systems, Windows, Linux, and Mac, and is also available for Android, iPhone, and Palm handheld devices. In fact, Zumo Drive integrates with iTunes, so users can stream music files stored on Zumo Drive to an iPhone or an iPod Touch. Zumo Drive also features a virtual disk drive on the user's desktop and allows users to identify a local folder to associate with Zumo Drive. Zumo Drive's free service offers 2 gigs of storage. You can even download a free app that will let you use unused storage space associated with your Gmail account as a cloud storage device. Gmail accounts currently have about 7.5 gigs of storage available.